Ian, obviously the big talking point of the back selection is, is Matt Duffy. What's what's been the appeal to choosing him? Yeah, look, he's just um, he, he's shown really good composed form for quite a while now, and I think when you look at the Super Rugby form, particularly with the you know when he went and and, and really looked stable on, on the wing, he, he, he finished well. He, he quite creative, but also he had that sort of solid aerial skills, positional skills that, that we've been looking for. So he's been on up with Curve and you can just tell he's a lot more settled in the game now and looking forward to working with him. When, when did you sort of when you come onto your radar as such for this tour? Was it oh, during the Super Rugby or was it complemented by what he's done in, in Mighty 10? Well, it's been a, a process over the last couple of years, really. I mean, we looked at him last year and, uh, you know, there's some things that he did, you know, really quite impressive. And... And again, it's just it's probably more of his complete skill set, his ability to catch and pass and and, and run and, and run good lines and read the play. And so we've seen him grow, I guess, from the last 24 months. And then so he's had a couple of good Super Rugby seasons under his belt that he's got better and better. And then clearly, you know, he's taken that form on into the Mighty 10 Cup and and really shone there too. So the fact that he's just carried that on shows he's got good high standards, very professional for the park and. And again, so it's just a, be, be a great opportunity for us to start working with them, see how he settles in at the international level. The back, backs overall, a fairly young team, a group to be taking away. Is this, is this a good tour to, be, to develop these guys, given they're two years out from a World Cup? Yeah, look, I think that side of it's been, um, but that side of it's going to be really positive for us. And it's been a year we've had to introduce um, a number of young players in the back, so it's probably affected us a little bit combination-wise, but for the future, I think it's outstanding. And, you know, I mean, you've got to look at the fact with, you know, you take Israel, Ben, and you take Geordie Barrett out, and those, and, you know, we're, we're missing a few guys from that from that June series. And, but it's just opened a few more doors for us to build opportunity. And we've seen that, you know, the likes of Damien take that, the likes of Rico take that, and a chance for a few more. Yeah, and of course, Jack Goodhue coming in and getting, getting his chance. I mean, how, how, much, how many opportunities will he have on tour? Well, we saw Jack. Jack was with us in the June series with the Lions and you know, a very impressive young man. And uh, so we, we felt the best thing for him was to go back and play in Mighty 10 Cup. He's done that, done that really well. And so we're looking forward to getting him in. So, you know, the, he's coming on tour, so he'll get some time. It's just a matter of when. But um, again, you know, he's, he's a guy that's sort of backed up from a really uh, sort of an outstanding super rugby season and backed it up and just showing that that he's got some really good preparation systems off the park and it's delivering, week, week, I guess, weekly results. Just, just, just looking at the Lewis <coughs> Lowe in Brisbane, I mean, in, it, it was a loss, but in, in terms of the, what these guys learn from it, how, how much value will it have? Well, I guess that's up to us as a group, isn't it? You know, like it wasn't a great performance and, uh, you know, I think some of our basic skills and, and decision making wasn't at the level that we needed to be. So, um, you know, we know that. And But I guess we've got a, a, a sort of a week apart, then we jump on a plane on Friday and we go and prepare for the Barbarians. And so those lessons will be much talked about <laughs> next week, you know, because it's clearly we weren't smart enough at... Um, at sort of picking the right tool from the toolbox when we needed it, and some of that's inexperience, some of that is just something we've got to get better at. And again, when you go up north, you get exposed to different types of systems of play, particularly defensively, and um, and we're going to get challenged there again. So I think that's the beauty of this tour.